boy i've really done it this time i got some of y'all really upset with me and i'm just i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit here here in just a minute So, I don't know if you guys can hear or not, but this one is going crazy because the other one won't get out of the way. She wants to go in there and lay her egg, but they will not move. That's funny. Now, there is a third one. You can come over here to this third one right here. There's one in there. I don't know if she's the one that got booty on us. I know. They want to lay their eggs. And you're you are in everybody's way that one was yelling at, at the other ones i've got the pigs winking at me what i need to get in there and get this electric fence down they uh they have started to uh, mess around with it and it's making a mess so i'm gonna get in there get that cleaned up let's see let's go check on their feed so the last video i posted some of you guys just went crazy on me can you guess why because i put some little toy arms on one of my hens and they are it was made for chickens it's kind of like a gag joke it does not hurt the they got feet it does not hurt the chickens at all things weighed like less than an ounce it was they were little and it was funny i actually seen that on on roman atwood uh atwood's vlog and i, I thought it was the funniest thing ever he had like several of them they're running around and uh, so I ordered them and then we just got around to put them on there and run around like a T-Rex. And But for some reason, some of y'all just took offense to that, got mad at me, gonna unsubscribe because I put fake arms on a chicken. I was like, oh no. <laughs> the little things, the little things that set people off, it is blows my mind sometimes. So if you're one of those I offended with the arms, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I thought it was funny. The girls thought it was funny. A lot of people think it's funny. Didn't hurt the animal whatsoever. But anyways, I'm going to move this wire out of here before they get all tangled up in it. What you doing grace what you doing gabby what you doing oh there's lily lily wants some camera time okay so this is going to be day two of working on the well house i'm going to put some walls up hopefully get started up on on the trusses today we'll just kind of see how it goes it's going to be another hot one here in oklahoma going to be 100 degrees now they're calling for a bit of a cool down um over the next seven days like next week sometime um, it's going to be like 92, not 100. Um, and I'm telling you, that, that does make a difference um, when you're working out here in the heat. Uh, thankfully, it's early morning and we do have a lot of shade here for the time being. So we need to knock her out, knock out as much as possible. Um, let's go over. I got a spider web all over me. Hold on a second. Okay, so uh, anyways, let's cut that off me. Um, I've got these two walls to go up. And what I'm thinking is, and one of y'all suggested this in the comment section here a few days ago. And I thought, you know, it's a good idea. Let me do the measurements and see if it works out. Um, but one of y'all suggested, I don't remember who it was exactly, suggested maybe putting both doors on this one side. And then I have this other side just for storage or whatever I want. Um, shelves, I don't have two doors. Um, ultimately, it would probably be the same. Um, but I kind of like the idea just to have it on, on, uh, on one wall. So I'll measure it out and see. I think I'm going to do a six foot door here. Now here's the deal with the doors. I had a lot of suggestions saying you should get the roll up doors. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I stopped by a local um, vendor, local metal shop um, yesterday to see if they actually, because they sell, they sell storage units and they, and they actually can get those doors. But he said, man, we can get them, but they're super expensive if you're just buying them individually. Now, if we're going to, if you're going to buy storage units, they're really cheap. He goes, he goes, it's weird. Um, he goes, that's just how the market is. He goes, they're super expensive. Um, and he told like $1,300 for the eight by, um, whatever it was, eight, eight foot by, by nine or whatever. I can't remember exactly what it was. I'm like, uh, yeah, that's too expensive for a well house. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to probably just 
like the dirt and shit I got over there probably just mimic those doors over here and that, that's a six foot opening so that size will actually fit my water my big water tank I'm wanting to put in here and uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go with the six foot opening and then so this is 12 foot long so I can do the six foot and I can do a four foot and that still gives me a couple of feet, uh, feet and all that in the middle so we'll do the measurements just to make sure that it's it's we can do it and I'll, I'll show you guys doing that if not you may see me putting the door on this other side but my plan for right now is I'm gonna try to do it on this side so let's let's do the measurements um, get started on that oh before I do get started I got a lot of questions about am I gonna put any of the bug sealer on on the bottom plate of the walls keep the bugs from coming in and yes actually i am um, i just don't get a chance to talk about and show everything i want to put these two walls up just to get everything up and now brandy's gonna come out here in just a little bit and help me put it up underneath there and but i'm gonna start on this i'll get the i want to get these walls done first uh, so when she comes out we can just stand them all up secure them and go from there so but yes we are putting the the bug sealer i guess you can call it um it's called it's actually called seal seal foam gasket um, so that's what we're going to use and this is probably some of the material that we're going something like this we're going to use for the main house too and that's the mistake i made whenever i was building my um uh, eight years ago um, whenever i built my pole barn we didn't do traditional walls so i didn't have a bug sealer you might say um, to keep the bugs from coming up underneath the drywall and from outside and that was always kind of an issue that we would have is um fighting some but uh ants and and and, and uh, spiders things like that i don't know if that's where they're coming in from but it definitely ain't gonna hurt it's definitely gonna help matters if anything so yeah and i think it'd be important to keep the bugs uh minimal in the well house too and i'm sure they'll still get in through the door and things like that but might as well go with this and and uh, help somewhat okay so after doing some measurements um it's not going to work on both doors over here I kind of probably should have done that before I started talking about it, uh, but it is what it is. I thought that was a good idea, so whoever suggested that, it was a good idea. But for the size of doors I need or want, um, it just isn't going to fit over here. Um, so we'll go ahead and do the smaller door on this side, and then the bigger double door on this side. And like I said earlier, I'm just going to I'm just going to match um, those doors that they built over there, and that's probably the same design I'm going to do over here. Work really well on that shed, so there's no reason why they won't work well here. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to go with. Got the measurements laid out and uh, we're gonna get busy. Okay, so I got the front wall done, got the door frame all framed out. Brandy's gonna come out here and we're gonna put um, the seal um, styrofoam on the bottom to keep the bugs out. And like I said, it's, it's gonna be a well house. There's gonna be bugs to get in it still, but this will, this will help. So, and uh, I, need, I, need help with do, I need help doing that. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just I'll lift up the wall and she can kind of scoot it up underneath there. And uh, we'll just go with that. Then once we get these two over here, get that on the bottom of that, then we'll do we'll, we'll uh, put the other wall up and then I'll start working on the last wall and I had to go buy some more lumber for the top place because I thought I bought enough but I was I was short one around um, so I went and picked that up so we're good to go on that so today for 100% we're gonna get all the walls up and um, I don't know if I will have time to work on the rafters or not that might be um, for tomorrow we'll just wait and see and uh, we'll get this framed up and then we can start working on the plumbing 
super excited about that I'm ready to get ready to just get projects done um, I don't really um, I've always been one to skip each project back and forth like that um, is just kind of how I've always operated and with the well house I just wanted to get this framed up now so whenever the the fall starts to come and and we're getting pushed on time for the for uh for winter we can we can have this done because basically what what my plan is is get the plumbing done wait on them to come pour it but while we're waiting on them to come pour it then uh, hopefully we can start we can put the roof on this and then go from there so that's that's the plan and i get a lot of questions about the tiny cabin um, no we have not forgot about it yes we have not worked on it in a long time but we're going to that's gonna we're gonna be using that um, for a space i i want to use it for the kids that go over there obviously but i also want it to be where we put the t-shirts that's where we do our t-shirts um packaging and shipping and all that is over the tiny cabin and uh, we'll, we'll have a video coming up hopefully in the near future actually showing you guys that because a lot of you guys may not even been in there before um it's pretty close to being finished on the inside as far as um all the drywall and all that stuff up are really really close so it wouldn't take much but today we're going to get the last wall up get brandy out here and uh let's get this well house all the way framed up Boy, you haven't got any sun in a few days. Look at you. What? You've been laid up. I haven't told them, but you've been laid up for... Well, not really laid up. Pretty much but laid up. up. Huh? I went to work. So, tell us story. Brandy was uh, trying to be John Wayne Hero at her mom's house. Tell us what happened. I don't think happened. John Wayne kills insects. What did you try to do? No, so, my mom and dad, they have one of the washing machines like ours. What's that called? Oh, the old one. Like the metal one. Yeah, flower bacon. And our cat, Tiny, was over there playing under it. And all of a sudden he took off and some i think some wasp had stung him or tried to so i go over there and i'm like forget you guys so i took hayden's croc her shoe and smacked one of them killed it i think and as i turned around i stepped on one no or it you came turned around like me. you were like you were the you were it like yeah. you're tough and then i like screamed and jumped and took off running and yeah and literally my foot i don't want him to show it but it's like a big huge cankle like i'm glad it was on a lower extremity because it's been super swollen for four days you've been itching like i took benadryl i put, I put some, ice on yep. it propped it up so i don't i literally have one flip flops so it's probably not proper work footwear but but it's ridiculous you feeling better now i mean it's still fat but <laughs> i can't put a shoe on so when I say laid up, she's been laid up. She's had it propped up. She it's actually a red wasp. Red wasp. She actually had to go to work with it like the second day, and that was pretty bad because it was starting to come down. But being on it all the time swells back up. And I know, I know itched. people say put tobacco on. I think Rachel said put tobacco on. That's what people have always done with stings like that. But we don't have tobacco. Well, and we were already past that point. Like I yeah. didn't think it was going to be a big deal. And then when it was getting worse instead of better, and from what I've looked at, it's like I'm obviously not anaphylactic. Yeah. allergic to it but it's definitely what to say large local what to say large local um area a reaction a yeah like it's big it's not just one little spot it's like up my cat it was it was pretty bad and yeah. i should have i should have recorded it why it was like that but i think she was she was in pain too much it was itching real bad um anyways enough of that we got her out here to help do a little help so bring wasp out here I'm i don't see to... any they're not they're, they're wasp, everywhere wasps but... were everywhere um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to set the camera up and we'll show you guys putting this up underneath there.
Okay, we got the, the front up. Um, now it's not all squared up or nothing like that. We literally just have them up and up in the air. So once I get this fourth wall up here, so once I get the fourth wall up here, then I can get it all squared up, but my top plate's on there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and build it real quick. And then I'll get Brandy back out here to help me put it up. Um, I'm gonna do a little door right here and I'll show you guys a little bit of that. So we'll see you in just a second. Okay, Brandy, I'm gonna go get the girls and you wanna finish this? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> so, I don't know if you could tell, but the, I got the little door over here. That way we have full access to the to the pump. If we ever need to get in there, we could do all that. So we we'll have to make some custom this doors now. This is a little door? Yeah, this is a little one. This is the big giant one. There's gonna be like an actual swing Yeah, out. like the Durska shed. Kinda like that. Same concept anyways. Might better just do one. One what? Door. We'll need a big one for the Well, tank. I mean, like, those are two doors. Yeah, this will be one big one. Because th sometimes those, they're not lined up yeah. just because it's not completely level. This one will be one big one, like a four by six. That one over there will be a double because it's just, that's too big for one big one. Um, so, yeah, that's what we've got done so far. Is it hot out here? Yeah. Really hot, isn't it? My hair went up. I was sweating. <laughs> Time to get busy. Okay, it's a hot sucker hair day. It's pushing over probably heat index over 100 we're in the shade thankfully finally the shade has moved over to where we're working um, i'm going to put the top plates up and uh, that's probably all we're going to do today on it because me and brandy are going to go pick the girls up maybe brandy depends on how quick we get this done um, so i'll show you getting up there and putting that up and then uh, this will be ready to start putting the trusses up on there Thank you. 
Okay, I got it all squared up. Got two of the top plates put on top. I got two more left. I'm gonna stick them up there in just a second, but I wanted to close this video out for you guys and just kind of show you real quick what I got done. And uh, everything is about ready to start on top. And I can those two top plates won't take take a couple five minutes to put up there you know we're ready to go um it's all nice and and uh, square and level um i had to that's one thing i had to do is i had to level it with some uh some of these support braces had to bring it this way just a little bit um you can see the slab itself is a little off center it, i think it kind of blew out on them a little bit i can't really tell um but it's it kind of off center but we still got the 12 by 10 going and uh, we kind of just got to work with what we got type of deal so i had so i used the diff i used my old m60 um canon today because my old my sony camera has been overheating like crazy out here in this hot um hot weather the sony actually does uh, or the canon actually does quite a bit better in the heat now during the winter it drains batteries but that's with any camera um the quality of the other camera if you guys could you guys tell the difference in quality this is still good quality but the sony is quite a bit better um but i i just couldn't i couldn't go through all the batteries uh while i'm trying to work it was just kind of becoming a nuisance so i was like you know i want to pull the, the old trusty m50 out and uh, we'll use it today and it, so far so good it's uh, it hasn't overheated one time i went through one battery um, and we i've been out here for several hours working so that's actually really really good compared to the other camera uh, it was becoming a pain in the butt but let me know if you could tell down below um, the quality I, mean, I don't think it really matters a whole lot the, the, the audio is good i got my big mic on here but yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, stay tuned for the next video because it's not going to be on the well house. It's going to be over a subject that a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comment section. You guys, you guys catch on to things pretty quick, obviously. Um, it's something I haven't been hiding. Just haven't, I haven't talked about it. And um, I think it's time to talk about it now. I just wanted, to, I just wanted to bring it up on my own terms and uh, and talk talk with you guys with the family about what's going on in our life. Um, because we've had some some um, drastic changes um, with our family over the last several months and i think it's time to bring you guys on board let you guys know what's going on and explain a few things so with that being said stay tuned for the next video um, because it's going to be an exciting one for us to talk about um, probably a little emotional because it's, it's it's a really 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 big deal so stay tuned for that it'll be in the next day or two so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that like button if you're not subscribed yet Please subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and uh, we love you guys. Thanks for all the support. Catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.